สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today here on NBC World. As World Population Day was celebrated on July 11th, the United Nations Population Fund (UNFPA) was calling attention to the needs and vulnerabilities of women and girls amidst the global pandemic and the efforts needed to secure their health and human rights. To better understand the situation of the rights. Of women and children in Thailand, we will talk with Ms. n a r i r a k p e c h a y a p u m She's the director of International Human Rights Bureau under the Rights and Liberties Protection Department, Ministry of Justice, in our program today. Welcome back to Thailand Today program, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you've been working so you see. Today I'm going to talk about children and women in Thailand. So uh, the Department of Protection do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yes, please yes. tell us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, for for our department. Yes. Okay, um, um, our department in in our department, I have to explain about our mandate first. Uh, uh, can I? Yeah, very. Uh, a short one, please. Okay. Okay. Mm. So our mandate is um is divided into three main roles. One is promotion, another one is protection, mm. and then the last one is guarantee of human rights. Mm. For the for the children and women, we we uh, as we. Work also on the National Human Rights Action Plan, uh, so we uh, indicate children and women as one of the target group to be protected under National Human Rights Plan. The National Human Rights Plan is a huge, like national framework of mm -hmm. the country, to make sure to to you know to make sure that human rights is included into the work of all government agencies. Children and women is one of the special special target group under under the National Human Rights Plan, and we have um, very A lot of activity under each mandate. Do you want me to go with that first, or, yeah. or after that? Yeah, after that. After <laughs> okay. that. Yeah. yeah, but we we love to hear about that gen uh, current situation yeah. of the rights and uh, okay. those of yeah. women. The overall situation of um, of the rights of um, children and women is, I think, I would say that moving into a positive is a, a positive trend, moving oh, into a yeah. positive direction. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Comparing to the past, is moving into the, the 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 right direction. At the national level, we have established the um, special department to responsible for children and responsible for women. Under the Ministry of Social Development and Human Security, we yeah. have Department of Children and Youth, responsible mm -hmm. for all issues related to children, and we have Department of um, Women's Affairs and and uh, Family Development, responsible for all issues related to women. This mm -hmm. is the national level. We have a key like agency responsible mm -hmm. for each specific mm -hmm. target group, mm -hmm. and at policy level, we have the national um, policy for women development mm -hmm. as a kind of the the human rights framework as well, and we have the national plan on development of children. This is a kind of policy framework, mm -hmm. and for the law, we have um, develop. Um, A number of law related to to protect in order to protect the rights of women. For example, Sexual Dom Domestic Violence Act. We have the Gender Equality Act, and for the children, we have um, um, Children Development Act, which is the kind of the main law for children. And this law, this law that I mentioned earlier, has set up the um, special um, specific um, mechanism to monitor the situation of children and women. Uh, which is comprised of relevant ministries, and they work together in, in hand in hand in prom in promoting and protecting the rights of women and children. Which this is also good in terms of law. Mm -hmm. And we have the the court, the mm -hmm. family and juvenile court, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is mm -hmm. uh, a good in terms of uh, in terms of judicial proce process as well. Mm -hmm. As far the um, in terms of practice. Uh, from the information from the country report of the of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, um, there are some kind of positive development. For example, the number of children with malnutrition is decreased, mm. and uh, the children with lack of iodine is decreased. Mm. Number of teen mom is decreased also, mm. and um, the number of children who drop out of school during the term is mm. also decreased. Mm. As for women, the number of um, women sit in the top executive as a high level mm -hmm. executive is increasing, mm -hmm. both at private company and uh, in the public as a like government office. office. So this is a kind of a, the, the trend, it, both in ministry level and departmental level. Go, uh, women is sit in the in the in the executive level is is even like 
<laughs> much Our more number. than the past, <laughs> yes, <laughs> much more than the past. Uh, and also, um, we have the chief gender equality officer in e in every government agency at the departmental level. We have a chief gender equality responsible for gender equality, monitor the gender equality in your organization, yeah. which is, I think, is a good positive trend. Yeah. However, the, um, the challenge uh, remain exist in terms of, uh, for example, the domestic violence. I was about to ask this. Yes. This also in increasing. Increasing. <laughs> yes. And oh, what do we human do? trafficking. We, we oh. know that we work, we you know, put lots of effort in tackle this problem, but it still exists in, in the society. Mm -hmm. mm. So the hum problem of human trafficking is mm. also exists mm. and is still a big problem in Thailand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that is on the international level to it. But uh, yeah. domestic is really a hard draw. Yeah. And hearing that, you know, we kept on mm -hmm. in tears when watching the TV yes. and yeah. oh God. In this case, what is the highest penalty? Mm -hmm. So that I think I believe in this heavy serial penalty, mm -hmm. they will be barring them mm -hmm. from doing that. Otherwise they will say this is domestic affairs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I th um, the government has um, has an effort to amend the law on on the domestic violence. Mm, harsh. Yeah, yeah, to make it harsher. Mm. And because it, this is a big problem, especially during this COVID time, mm. especially this COVID time, um, people. I mean, when women has to work from home. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was to one of the question here. Already. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yes. okay. Okay. So it's um, women has to work at home from home, right? Yes. So to work from home, they have to you know, manage, responsible for their work, mm. at, you know, and also at, on the other hand, they have to be responsible for housework. Mm. So some, on the one hand, people say that, oh, it can, it tighten up your religion, family relationship. <laughs> but on the other hand, I it don't think also, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's also increased the, the, the risk to have a domestic violence. So for the women, it's kind of risky situation. Mm. Mm. For, for children in, in COVID situation, of course, the access to education, they have a, it has a big F, uh, COVID situation has a big effect on mm. on the on the uh, access to education mm. for children and they, they have to study through the online platform platform mm. and they don't have um, interaction with their friends and teacher and so it can make a, um, children get stressed especially those in the teenager age mm. and they have also difficulty in, in in access to get advice from the psychologist as well so during this COVID time it's, it's kind of the a big challenging for us as well and also some some people if, especially in the rural, rural area they don't they don't have money to afford to buy um computer or internet connection at home. So this is a very, very challenging for the Ministry of, of Education mm -hmm. to, 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 you know, to see, it, to monitor and to, to try to address this, this, this gap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think in, in the rich family, there will be no, no problem in terms of buying computer and, yeah. and afford mm -hmm. the internet connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and which, a, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Another, another point is that, um, the the children of um, my grand worker mm. and the children or the children of my grand worker are children with the problem of status uh, problem of the stateless children they also have a problem in terms of um, um, access to national verification process like because in COVID situation medical officer or people like tend to help COVID situation mm. but to have DNA testing maybe not the matter of priority for them. So they need, they, it kind of delay their national verification process, which is also at, on the, at the same time delay their rights to access to mm -hmm. public service or public welfare. Mm -hmm. Which mean agencies are responsible in the protection of the rights of women and yeah. how they cooperated yeah. these assistance. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have Department of Children mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Children and um, Youth to responsible for children, and we have Department of Women mm -hmm. Affairs and Family mm -hmm. Development to responsible mm -hmm. for women. Mm -hmm. And um, this um, two agency is located situated under Ministry of, Ministry of Social Development and Human Security, but the work to promote and protect the rights of um, children and women cannot done cannot done alone. So mm -hmm. they work in, in in an integrated manner with mm -hmm. relevant agency, for example. Royal Thai Police, um, Ministry of Public Health, Ministry of Labor, 
Office of Attorney General, Office of Court of Justice, or Ministry of Justice. They work hand in hand with relevant sectors. Mm -hmm. And not only the government sector, they also work with civil society sectors. Mm -hmm. In Thailand, we have a lot of active um, yeah. civil society sectors oh, nice. working on issue of women and children. Mm -hmm. And we are lucky that we have, um, we are kind of regional hub for the UN. Yeah. So we have UNICEF and UN Women based in Bangkok. So it's, it's easier for, for, for them to work with international organization as well. Mm -hmm. So we can get uh, some support from international organization and some mm -hmm. advice mm, to address a uh, problem related to women and children. Mm -hmm. So what is the major role of the rights and liberties protection department in the protection of rights? Okay, so um, as I mentioned earlier, the, the, the role of the Department of Rights and Liberty Protection is divided into three main mm -hmm. groups. Uh -huh. So promotion, protection, and, yeah. and guarantee. Uh -huh. So for the promotion, we work a lot on promote the awareness raising on human rights to people in the society, not only limited to women, but we work with all sectors, with, with uh, 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 public. But for the children, we have we very much focus on children because children is the future of the country. Exactly. So we work a lot with children. So last year we have a, a project called Justice Sponsored uh, mm -hmm. Project. Mm -hmm. So uh, Justice Sponsored School, sorry, <laughs> to provide a training for children in more than 800 schools across the country mm -hmm. to teach them to understand about basic human rights and also to teach them mm -hmm. how they learn to respect the, to respect the rights of others mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the big project last year and mm -hmm. then the, uh, at the area that are at risk of being violated, like southern border province, we have a project called Human Rights Camp every year that we recruit um, the youth in the, in the southern border province to train them about the basic knowledge on, on human rights as well. And we also produce them to make them understand about the, 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 the human rights because at that area, a lot of human rights violations uh -huh. happen. And, so, and also we develop uh, several forms of media that is that it, we call it child-friendly media. media. Mm -hmm. So we have um, a card, a games, a cartoon, <laughs> animation, brochure leaflet, and exhibition, e-learning, painting, music video, <laughs> yeah. so many things. So, so, so many forms of um, child-friendly um, okay. media that to, to, to make them understand about it, that to make it easy understanding for, for the kids. For the issue of protection, for the mandate to protection, um, we provide all the protection to put, uh, provide service of protection of human rights for all without discrimination. So mm -hmm. in this part of mandate, there is no specific program for children and women, but we provide uh, free legal service with net protection and state compensation for all. Okay. But for in terms of guarantee that we have, um, as I mentioned, we have mm -hmm. national human rights plan that we identify children and women as one of the key target group. Okay. And we also highlight some activities mm. um, under this um, um, plan as well. Okay. I, can, I can go into detail later after yeah, the break. Yeah, yeah, yes. come back <laughs> we are coming to the end of the first part of our interview, so please stay tuned for the next. NBT World, an English language television channel in Thailand. Authoritative sources for all government information. High standard content that's reliable and accurate across every platform. Our mission is to reflect the vision of Thailand. Keep up to date through our application or website by searching for NBT World. NBT World, a vision of Thailand. Welcome back once again to our program. Uh, let's continue our talks with Ms. Nerilak Pe Chayipum about the rights of women and girls in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am. So yeah, please continue. If I may, can I? Please do. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Please. I would I just like to highlight on some details of activities that mm -hmm. included in the National Human Rights Plan, which is responsible mm -hmm. by our department. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the children, we have um, seven main activities under the, the plan that, you know, and it's ob ob uh, and it's an obligation that all relevant sector has to follow. Mm -hmm. First is that we have to revise um, relevant law rule regulation uh, for the benefit of children. Uh -huh. 
and second is that to ensure that resource and access mm -hmm. to public service for mm -hmm. children, especially children in vulnerable groups uh, mm -hmm. like the girl. Mm -hmm. And third one is that we have to set up standards for treatment of children of migrant workers. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is that we ha will increase the legal age for marriage from mm -hmm. 17 to 18. Mm -hmm. This is the benefit of the girl because in, in international, in international um, standard usually the uh, the marriage 18. can start from 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 um, not 18 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the fifth um, the fifth um, activities is that we have to pre to have um, to set up the measure to prevent the, the violation at school or bullying mm -hmm. is a big um, mm -hmm. issue now in, mm -hmm. in Thailand mm -hmm. and the sixth activity is that we have to eradicate the child labor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the last one is that we have to keep information related to children confidential if not necessary, we will not disclose the information. Okay. This is the kind of say, key, seven key activities under the plan that has to be achieved by yeah. within two years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, the key activities and for the women um, under the National Human Rights Plan is that we have to create mechanism to monitor situation of sexual violence, uh, like the 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 the, 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 the national mechanism one to monitor the situation of sexual violence and then we have to raise public awareness on issue of domestic violence. And the third one is that we have to integrate resource and improve the welfare for women and family. Mm. And the last one is that we have to tackle the problem of <coughs> domestic violence and promote gender equality. Mm. This is the key highlight for <coughs> highlight activities under the, the Human Rights Plan on Women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said uh, within two years, mm -hmm. so that means uh, what? Start from when last year? Uh, because um, the 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 national human rights, human rights plan uh, start from two thousand um, nineteen. All right. Uh -huh. So end up by by yeah. by end up by end up by twenty actually twenty twenty two twenty twenty two. Mm -hmm. So it has to be finished. But but the if next it is the law enactment not yet uh, done, I mean mm -hmm. fully. But uh, protection and all still there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, well, I'm I'm a little concerned about yeah. this matter so yeah. much that yeah. I feel a lot about the mm -hmm. children and and mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. get this thing. So how about talking about uh, such a lot of work of your department or what your ministry is doing? How much sufficiency of uh, of the what you call of the labor of not the labor, the manpower. The manpower. Mm -hmm. Of course, our group, our bureau is quite small. Mm -hmm. We have only 16 staff. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but uh, we... It is for the whole country. Not, uh, yes, for the whole country. But not for, not only are we, we, are, we work in close collaboration with Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Foreign, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they are at the mm -hmm. forefront of the mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. But we, we are the monitor the situation in the country, but we work in as a partner with them. Mm -hmm. We try to get we like the coordinator for mm -hmm. all government agencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you mentioned about this international, so I, I have a question on mm -hmm. what are the important problems yeah. of the international rights of human uh -huh. goals? Yeah, um, there are a variety of, of problems, um, ranging from the small problem until the serious problem. It really depends on the country context. Like, for example, this also the, the, for the problem of children, there are varieties such as child labor, um, my grandchildren, child marriage, child soldier, access to um, education, malnutrition, access to public health. So this is a kind of the huge um, the, the, an, an example of, um, mm. of problem of um, the rights of children. Mm -hmm. For women, problem is also various. Uh, for example, the gender discrimination, domestic violence, uh, sexual violence, mm. reproductive health, um, access to public health, sex worker, and human trafficking. Mm -hmm. mm. So this, the, hum, the problem is broad. Mm -hmm. So it really depends. Each country has different problems. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. What are the missions of International Human Rights Bureau mm -hmm. in promoting the protection of international rights? Somewhat like just now. Yeah. yeah. So um, our department is that uh, normally when we have a problem and it's become the issue at international level oh, because of what they reported. Yeah, when when someone reported or ah. <laughs> to the to the UN mm -hmm. and then UN will send a letter to through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs will convey the, the message mm -hmm. or convey the letter to us to mm -hmm. us to reply to to reply and also to, to check to the get and into to the matter. organize yeah organize the meeting with relevant um, sectors mm -hmm. relevant ministries 
not only the ministry, but also sometimes with civil society, sometimes with international organizations, sometimes with academic. It depends on the issue, but we will organize the meeting and then get information and gather information and make an answer and then send to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to approve, uh, to make a final proof <laughs> or final amend, uh, revision and then send to the UN. And also we will pro, um, provide, um, when government has some, pro has some concern and wants to have some advice, we will also provide um, the government with the advice on the, on in, from human rights pr perspective. And also um, we will contact international organization for the capacity building of the, of the, of the government officer. And also sometimes we also provide training to our neighboring country as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and, and and we work a lot on the country report. Mm -hmm. So when we Thailand has to report deep on under the when Thailand has to submit report under the international obligation or international human rights treaties. So we are the main agency responsible for for the 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 to gathering information and drafting the report and submit mm. to the UN and bring the whole Thai delegation to the UN for verbal report. Mm -hmm. There must be a lot of challenges. Yes. So in order to achieve the standard in protecting mm -hmm. the international rights uh, of, of women and girls, mm -hmm. so the challenges are there? The challenges, of course, quite a lot. Yeah. Quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but the challenging in Thailand, I think I, I would say that actually in Thailand, the law is good, but the challenge is in implementation. Mm. This is mm. a big problem in Thailand is on implementation. Mm. But and for the, sometime with the, with the attitude mm. is also the social attitude is another challenging. Mm. So the, we need to raise awareness on the mm. rights of children and the rights and the role of women to mm. make sure that they are, but now actually they are going into the positive direction, but um, we, there's still some gap remain. So we need to yeah. work more on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the problem of the male uh, member of the family yeah. uh, think that uh, this is our domestic affair. Yes. You are my subordinate. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the trouble. Yeah. So that it has is to still, be done. still remain, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This must be, not, must be. It has so. to be let known to them that yeah. no more such a, be such a ideology. Yeah. <laughs> the and then the neighbor don't want to interfere ah, into the my, for my yeah. family business. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the last but not least is mm -hmm. your advice, ma'am, uh, your advice to the general public to, in helping to promote rights of human and girls. On the uh, um, occasion of World Population Day, I would like to urge everyone, encourage everyone to take good care at mm -hmm. least, take mm -hmm. good care of your member of family, your children and women in your family, your friends, your colleague, and mm -hmm. then society. And if you have any, you face or you witness any human rights violation, mm -hmm. do not keep silence. So you need to contact the government or the relevant, um, the closet uh, police station. So, and you have to at least call the number 1300 or 1111 press 77 to report the case that you have faced and you can be the one that can help the, the stop the violation and stop the sexual violence or domestic, domestic violence in your area. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just want to raise concern to the public that don't keep silent, just you have to be brave and then report the, the, the case to the, to, the, to the authority. Actually, the people who ignore mm -hmm. or do not take responsible to the society or what happening you see and you ignore it just mm -hmm. that the punishments there right there's a law there mm -hmm. is it yes yes there is a can law can you say something on that matter please yeah 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 that is a that is a law that you if you become a witness mm -hmm. of um, any case of crime you will be protected mm -hmm. as a witness mm -hmm. so don't mm -hmm. be afraid so just mm -hmm. you have to um, contact the number that I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. the 1300 or 1111 press 77, that's it. that will be helpful not only to report the, not only to report the case, but also to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Really okay. great for being here and thank you so much. Really thank we you. appreciate thank for you being here. Uh, we are in our program with great thanks to Ms. Nerila Pei Chanipu, Director of International Human Rights Bureau and the Rights of and Liberties Protection Department from the Ministry of Justice. We really appreciate for your participation. Really. And if you hope you enjoyed the show, have a great day. Thanks for watching Thailand today.
By the way, you can also watch Talent Today on MBT World channel or live broadcast on YouTube channel MBT World every Tuesdays to Friday from 9 p.m. on web. See you next time. Till you